Hey everyone. Hi, we're the WWE Gays. I'm, I'm John Luke. And I'm Nick. <sighs> Even says, uh, no, one day we should actually wear the opposite aprons. Don't, why'd you ruin the surprise? We weren't going to do that. Oh, we were? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. He doesn't know this stuff. Uh, we should switch it now. Just so we... Come on. I can't. My hands are off of the flower. Oh, okay. I don't want to dirty the apron more than it already is. But okay. I guess that doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. You get to clean it after. This is fun, actually. Ah! Make you look like you do some work in the kitchen. I do. I like okay, it. so today we're making another recipe for you guys. Shocker! That's yeah. what happens when we air the aprons. Maybe yeah. we'll throw them off one day and wear them and not have a recipe. Yeah. It'll never happen. It, it'll never happen. It's, it's pretty much, we like making recipes. It's one of our favorite things to do. We love and you, you guys, guys love apparently them. love them like yeah. crazy. So. so today we're making... We are making tarts. Fruit but tarts. Fruit tarts. Guess what from? From our two ingredient dough, two ingredient dough. So basically, what we did is um, we actually made a uh, John Luke made a full, full batch, batch of eighteen point dough, and then he split that into two. He saved one of the halves for another recipe, and then this second half was for this recipe. So the entirety of the the dough was nine points. We decided to split into six different uh, fruit tarts. Yep. So in order to do that, that means you buy. Nine points by six, so essentially each of them are one and a half point. But so we're just rounding up to two, two, just to be on the safe side, because we don't know exactly the. It's hard to to make sure that you're weigh, weighing them exactly the same amount. So two points is just to be safe. Yeah. It works out best. I then take them. I take little balls and I roll them into little flat tartlets. So they're really thin, like as thin as you can go. Um, that way they don't rise too much. And I've already prepared a few of them ahead of time, and I put them in a Muffin tin. So just a regular muffin tin. I sprayed it with our handy dandy. We're actually using avocado oil now. Yeah. Um, and it's a spray. We just found this at Costco. Yeah. And um, it's still zero points. We just started chopping at Costco. Um, we love their chicken. So when we're out of our true local stuff, we are now going to Costco for chicken, yeah. which yeah. is great. Um, good prices and nice chicken. Like yeah. really good chicken too. We'll so, never get rid of true local though. No. Um, so basically what I'm going to do after this is I take the, the tarts, I would say now, or the dough to the tarts, and I start working it into the, the muffin tin. To make it part tin. of the muffin tin yeah. shape, so I'll show you guys that. So here we go. I'm going to do this thing over here. You can make these into smaller tarts if you want, like yeah. totally. And so that way you can just like... Make them a one point tart. Make them one point to... tarts. Yeah, use them mini tarts. But we like a bigger dessert sometimes, you know? And for two points... It's still not that it's bad. It's still not that bad. So once that's done, we now took a bunch of fruit and we're going to make some berry tarts. So we have some fresh strawberries. Um, we have some fresh strawberries, some blueberries, and we cut, we have some blackberries in there as well. That we cut up. That we cut up. We thought that would be yummy, yummy, yummy. So to that, we're going to add so to that, some of the zero point syrups that we bought at Fortinos. Fortinos. So, uh, for anybody else out there who doesn't have a Fortinos, those are the Loblaws type stores. So we're we'll looking in Superstore, um, these independent are, grocers, theirs. And if you don't find them there, you can also find these skinny, uh, um, simply skinny. I can't remember the name of them, but there's another brand at Winners. Winners carries some as well, which is zero uh, sugar free syrups. So we're going to put one tablespoon of that, which is 15 milliliters, which is ha half the serving, which is zero points. So zero points. You know the whole, what we're doing is zero points. And that was the vanilla one. And this was a caramel one. This is a caramel one. And I'm going to actually add another 15 milliliters of that. Can you grab me a spoon? Yeah. Let's put that down. I'm now gonna add a few sprinkles of cinnamon, not much, because again, it could end up adding some points, but I just add a little bit, just to add some, some flavor. And this flour that I have on the, the, um, the my, uh, my countertop, I'm not gonna add a lot of flour, but I wanna add something to thicken this up while it's baking. And remember, they were 1.5, so it's yes. a little bit of flour. So it's not gonna it's increase not, the so points. So now that you have your two points, you kinda see like, okay, we're covering this little bit of flour yeah. here, so you, you're safe now, and this is gonna help to... It'll just help thicken the paste, like exactly. the two syrups will like thicken, and then when they boil into, when they start cooking inside of the, the tart, it just makes them yummy. Go. Yeah. So I'm just gonna start now scooping it into the actual tarts themselves. So just you know scoop it in. Just put a little bit in at a time and try to even it out. Uh, try to split it evenly so that way each tart has a little bit of all the fruit. fruit. Want to make sure there's blueberries 
blackberries and strawberries. And you can probably put use raspberries in this too. You can use raspberries. You can even make them in apples. You can make yeah. apple ones. I'm actually like I'm thinking there's gonna be some more recipe ideas coming out because of this. Yeah. Um, who knows? I know someone was saying something about chocolate, and who knows what would be good in this? Maybe some type of chocolate would be good in this. Ugh. Or vanilla. Ooh. Or vanilla. So I Stay just tuned for some other stuff. So I just scooped that in there. So as you can see, they're all full of fruit now. So yeah. these are two points each. Um, we're not going to bake them right now nope. uh, because it's not actually time to have dessert yet. But we will bake them later and we'll come back and... Sh uh, well, I guess we can tell them what temperature we're Yeah, we're, we're probably going to bake them at 375 degrees for a good 25 minutes, I would yeah. say. At least So we'll minutes. give you the exact time oh, when we yeah. come back. But uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get to you the rest of the rest of when we come back. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. Hi. So we put the tarts in about 20 minutes ago. Maybe about 21 now because by the time we actually get up to the... The camera going. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull them out. They are ready. They smell amazing. And they're like cute little tartlets. Voila. They're just fruit tarts. One cup. And they're nice and big. They're a good portion size, so I I'll think. take one out and put on a plate. Just to see what it looks like on an actual plate. They're really hot right now, so you gotta be careful you don't burn yourself. So you pull one out there. Pull this one out there too. And voila. And if you take a little bit of whip, one, uh, one point of uh, daily whipped cream that we have in the fridge, and boom, you have a nice little three-point three tart. tart dessert. So we're excited to try it. And uh, if you like our recipes, subscribe to our channel or go to our website and subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, just go to www.gaze.com. And you can also find us on all social media. Hashtag www.gaze. If you try this recipe, post it and post put it. hashtag yeah. www.gaze. If you try a different version of it, please post it. Let yeah. us know how, what you try because we like trying new things all the time. And yeah, I think sure. the more we share, the more our journeys will succeed. And more of our cookbook, our, our cooking will be cookbook. shared. Cookbook. Our cookbook. <laughs> well, who knows? You never know. I'd love yeah, one. Yeah. One okay. day, maybe. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.